My name is Uge Campos. I'm a professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at UCSB. And uh, we are studying essentially how uh, biological structures like tissues or organs actually form in three dimensions, how they get their shapes in three dimensions from a physical perspective. So my research group actually developed uh, a technique that essentially uses teeny, teeny magnetic droplets that are injected inside the tissues. And then what we use is magnetic fields to uh, deform these magnetic droplets. And these deformations poke into the cells around. And by looking at the response of these uh, teeny droplets to these magnetic fields, we can tell what, uh, what is the mechanical environment that the cells perceive. It took our team actually about three to four years to develop the technique. It's challenging because you are trying to measure something that physicists have measured for a long time in, in inert materials, but now you're trying to do it in a material that is shaping itself into complex three-dimensional shapes, and you're trying to do that at the scale of the cell. There are two types of applications. One is more at the basic science level, which is trying to understand how our tissues or organs are formed in three dimensions, how they are built into the structures that are functional. Then there are other applications, in particular medical applications. There are many diseases actually that display abnormalities in tissue mechanics that then affect the cell behavior are also the progression of the disease. And the hallmark case is, is tumor growth. For a long time, people have been trying to understand how mechanical cues affected the growth of the tumor, because it's obvious, right? The, the, the tumor actually stiffens, and it's very clear there is a mechanical effect. And people have shown that cells actually react to that. The problem is that we don't know how that happens or anything like that. So what we've done essentially is develop techniques to be able to go into these living tissues and see locally what is that that the cells are perceiving as mechanical cues. And obviously, with these techniques, now we can also explore how do they respond to this mechanical environment.